oh my gosh, whew, it's hot out here. It doesn't take long for me to get whew, all red. I want to show you something. And of course, I can't turn the camera around, my biggest problem yet that I have yet to accomplish. But I want to show you this cucumber here. Let's see if I can look at that. Not cucumber. Oh my gosh, it's not a cucumber, guys. <sighs> yeah, yeah, it's a bell pepper. But look how beautiful that is. Isn't that gorgeous? So I just wanted, I just sprayed it with neem oil. I just sprayed it with neem oil because there's ants all over it, like big carpenter ants. And usually what that means, big like carpenter ants, and I think it's because they're attracted to um, aphids. They're attracted to aphids. So I sprayed some neem oil and uh, we'll see what happens. Hopefully that neem oil will take care of it. But I just wanted to do a little um, tour of that garden. So, because I can't turn the camera, so embarrassed. I think I'm going to have to stop the video and take another one. All right, we'll see you guys in a bit. There you go. The purple bell pepper. I forget what it's called. Um, I don't know what my husband did with the with the tag. Here's another bell pepper plant that we have. See? And then I have some cucumber. I have that cucumber plant there, which is doing okay. Um, that's the one I was telling you guys about. I had a uh, female cucumber on there, but I didn't see it on time. And so I think it's gonna dry up. As a matter of fact, let me see if I can zoom in. See it right there? Yeah, it looks like it's gonna dry up. Then we have our little burrito there, our donkey. I think all that you see, these right here, um, I forget what it's called now, but it's actually an edible vegetable that you can put in salads, purslane, or purslane, or purslane, or purslane, or something like that. That's what that is. And then my other cucumber plant right over there, which is not doing very well. It's getting beat up, eaten up. So I put some neem oil on there. It does have some flowers on it, so we'll see what happens. You know, I'll try to doctor it up as best I can. That's all we can do. And then I've got two peppers here. And of course, I don't have the um, tag, but look at this little guy. I don't know. Oh, wait. Do I see the tag there? Yeah, there it is. It's an Anaheim pepper. Is that what it's supposed to look like? A round little guy? I thought Anaheim peppers were long. Maybe it didn't get pollinated right. And then that one's the same thing over there, but... Um, but... It's uh, not blooming yet, but I just wanted to share that with you. We put this fence around the garden because there was a stray dog that was coming around and he would try to do his business in there. And we've got strawberry plants in the front there. See, there's another one there and another one and they kept dying or one of them kept dying. And then we had a cat, our cat, Pancho. I don't know what happened to him he disappeared on us but anyhow um, they tried they kept going in there but I think we're gonna take it down because the dog I don't know what happened to the dog I guess his owner finally kept him in his gate and our cat I don't know what happened to Pancho so we might take that down because I saw a, um, a dragonfly trying to get in there and he couldn't um, I don't know if he finally flew on top, but that's probably why my plants are, are not all getting pollinated properly because of the dead gum fence. So we might take it down so that because the dragonflies, they're, they eat uh, meat, flesh, they eat other bugs. So anyhow, I just wanted to share that. I'll keep you guys updated, posted. Um, 
We've, we still have some trees that need to get planted. We've got an, two orange trees and an olive tree. This one my sister gave me right here. And then um, that's the olive tree. So we'll see. All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.